Hey, the Lord be with you. My name is Andy Rasman. Uh, this is the start of a video series going through the book of Genesis. It will take quite a while to get through this, uh, but hopefully it will be a good study for all. Uh, first thing about the book of Genesis is that it covers a whole lot of ground. Um, you get a lot of details in this book. First, uh, doctrines, topics, and themes that are covered. You get God. You get creation. Uh, humanity, male and female. He created as male and female. Uh, you get the introduction of sin into creation um, and its penalty. Uh, you see themes of life and death. Um, prophecy, you get some of the first prophecies in Scripture. Uh, the pro first prophecy is about a coming Savior. Um, you get the covenant relationship with God shown and displayed. You get um, righteousness. Uh, you get uh, dysfunctional families. Uh, you get miracles. You see God's wrath. You see God's salvation. Um, and the interesting thing about this is that you get these doctrines and topics and themes just kind of dropped. Um, but they're usually very brief. They're not in as much detail. And then as uh, more and more of God's word is revealed throughout time, uh, these topics and themes uh, grow in detail and specificity. Is that how you say that word? They get more specific. It's awesome. Um, so this is kind of the introduction to even these topics and themes. Um, and concerning who wrote the book of Genesis, we know that Moses wrote this book. How do we know this book? Um, this comes both from Jewish tradition and Christian tradition. You get no competing tradition about who wrote these books. Um, and then, of course, Jesus himself says Moses wrote these books. Matthew 19, 8, um, you get here. He said to them, because of your hardness of heart, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. This is a reference to um, the Torah books that give um, regulations on divorce and how that should be done. Uh, Mark uh, 7.10 Mark 7.10 reads, Uh, for Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles your father or mother must surely die. This is the fourth commandment under Roman Catholic and Lutheran numberings of the commandments. Uh, who gave these commandments? Uh, Moses. Where they found? Exodus. Uh, next one there from Mark is 12, 26, which reads, And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses? In the passage about the bush, how God spoke to him, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. So um, you hear this narrative, but uh, Jesus refers to this book as the book of Moses. Now, that's Exodus, not uh, Genesis, but um, we see that according to the tradition of the Jews and Christians, the first five books all written by Moses. Uh, then we got John 7.19. I had all these marked and then all the markings fell out right about the time I hit record. It's pretty fun. Uh, John 7.19. Has not Moses given you the law, yet none of you keeps the law? Uh, why do you seek to kill me? All right, so has not Moses given you the law? Uh, this is usually in reference into the first five books all being that of Moses. Other things people may ask is how, how could Moses have gotten these words, especially the words in Genesis? How could he have gotten this information? Because it goes all the way back to the beginning. Moses, of course, was not there in the beginning. Uh, how does he know the details about uh, Cain and Abel, um, all the Tower of Babel? calling of Abraham. Where does he get all these details? Was this actually passed down orally for that long period of time? Um, Exodus 24, 4 has this for us. Uh, this is a very interesting um, word. It says, and Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. So Moses actually dictated the words of the Lord. So, very fascinating. If you ask me, Moses actually dictated the words of the Lord. And we see throughout reading um, Exodus and the other books, uh, Deuteronomy, Leviticus, and Numbers, that 
uh, Moses at times actually met with God face to face. And uh, this was sometimes something that he was doing in an ongoing manner and he was hearing from the Lord. So here you actually see in Exodus 24, 4, Moses writes down the words of the Lord. He dictates the words of the Lord. So um, it could be with Genesis, these are actually word for word dictation from the Lord that we're getting. That's actually kind of how I would lean upon it and understand it. Um, at other times, we see that Moses also used um, and referenced other books. Okay, so sometimes in throughout he references other books. So that that could be it too. Um, other books and resources that he had access to. That's introduction to Genesis. We're going to get into the scripture.